hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're stopping by for the first time welcome my name is Elsie and in today's video I'll be talking about a few things you need to know before nursing school interview so for some of you you might have seen my face before and some of you this might be your first time seeing this face I created this channel specifically for nursing content so if you are here for the first time please subscribe to my channel and please like this video if you end up enjoying it so without wasting much time let's get right into so the first point is your name Yes, if you are going for nursing interview or nursing school, your name is very important. The reason why I'm saying this is because um, some people have different names on their birth certificate and different names on their school certificate. For instance, for some people, their names on their birth certificate is, let's say, um, ABC. Do you get it? The names on their birth certificate is ABC, but on their school certificate, it's only A and C. They decided to remove their middle name whilst in school. So when you go for the interview, they will let you do a gazette. That's to prove that it's you. Do you get it? Yes. So when you're going for nursing school interview, it's important that you do a gazette if your names on your school certificates and your um, birth certificates are not the same. So that's a little something I want you guys to know, that your names are very important when it comes to nursing school. Next point I have is your attire for the interview. So when you're going for interview, it's just, it's just like any formal interview you know. Yeah, it's just basically like you going for an interview, maybe you're, you're a banker, you are going for an interview, how you dress, that's exactly how you dress for nursing interviews. So um, you dress formal, for the ladies, I'll say you can wear a straight dress or a skirt and a top, a very decent one, the skirt must also be below your knees, it shouldn't be very short, at least something decent. That wouldn't get you in trouble you know yeah and you can get a nice top and for the hairdo you can't leave your hair hanging like how i have right here you can have braids like this it can be as long as this but you have to tie it to make it smaller so that it doesn't touch your dress basically so in, in essence when we wear our uniforms our hair is not supposed to touch our uniform so you can have any hairstyle but it just shouldn't touch your dress basically and for the earrings too, when you're going for the interview, make sure you wear the smaller earrings, the one we usually wear in primary school, the one that they used to pierce ear, baby's ear, the baby's ears. So you wear a very smaller earring, or better still, even if you, you forgot to even take that earring, just remove your earring to prevent you from getting into any trouble or anything. Just remove the earring, or better still, you can get the smaller earrings to wear for the shoes you can wear either a brown shoe or a black shoe it depends on the school some will tell you what color of shoe to wear and some wouldn't so if they don't tell you you can wear either a black or a brown shoe that's the only colors you can wear and for the guys when you're going for the interview it's just as the ladies as I, as I said earlier on you dress formal you get a trouser in the top a nice one and tuck in with your hair cut very decent and if you have beard, plenty beard, you know, the beard gang guys, where are you? <laughs> if you have a beard or you've kept a beard, when it's time for the interview, you have to trim everything off. Yes, trim everything off. You know, we don't keep our mustache and our beard and everything. No, we don't do that. So the guys, you get a nice haircut and just remove all the mustache and the beard and dress very decent and we are all good to go the next point i have is you should be informed about things happening in the country so basically when you go for the interview they might ask you what's going like something that's really going on in the country at the moment they can ask you so what's your take on this what what do you know about this do you get it yes so they can they can ask any question basically they can ask you any question something that you you wouldn't even think that they will ask you that's what they will ask you so just get just be informed about some little little things happening in the country at that time that you'll be going the next point to. is um, you have to know the names of the ministers not all the ministers but some ministers in the country for instance the name of the um health minister minister of health the name of the minister of education and let's say the name of the minister of the region you are in you know nowadays you have regional ministers so at least you have to know the name of the person who is the minister for that particular region you are going you'll be attending the school so basically that's all and some little little things you know i'm just giving you a fair idea about things you should expect the next point i have is when you enter the interview room 
that's when it's your turn to be interviewed when you enter the room when you enter walk briskly and don't sit when you are not asked to sit so when you enter you stand sometimes they might pretend like they've not seen you they've not even recognized that someone has entered it's all part of the interview process so when you enter just stand just greet so when you enter greet and stand keep standing till they tell you to sit down don't sit down if you sit down that's it that's a no 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 that means you've even failed almost like 10 percent of your interview process already and they will base on that who asked you to sit down why are you sitting down did anyone tell you to sit down then that's where the tension will get in do you get it so when you enter don't sit greet and skip standing till you are asked to sit down and after you sit down take a deep breath and relax and wait for any question they have for you be prepared for anything basically you have to prepare for you have to be prepared for anything they can ask you a question that you you you, you even did imagine that they will ask you and also you have to know a little bit about your area of specification if you're a psychiatric nurse at least you have to know some conditions you know they might ask you what are some of the conditions um, in psychiatry or something you know so you have to know a little bit about your area of specification and also you'll be asked to write an essay when you go for the interview i think i i don't know why we write it though but i think from my view i think we they let us write essay just to see how our grammar is just to mark your grammar your english and everything so you also write an essay the essay is not anything difficult it's just a general knowledge maybe write about teenage pregnancy what what's your take on child abuse write about do you get it so it's just like some general knowledge something that everyone knows something about the last point i have is you have to take all your documents basically so your documents are your results your birth certificates and um, photocopies run photocopies of all these documents if you use two results to apply make sure you have both copies the original so if you've not gone for your original copies of your school results i would advise that you go for it now that's there is time you get it so you have to go for it and keep it so that when you're called for the interview you don't have to rush to go to the wire office to go and get your school certificates your school results and all of that so you have to get all original copies of all your school results that you used to apply get the original copy of your birth certificate and make sure you run photocopies of all these documents and you are good to go basically so guys this is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel and please give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it and let me know in the comment section what videos you would like me to do next and i'll gladly do that for you until next time bye guys